Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Keegan. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you have any opinions you'd like to share, leave them down in the comment section. The Vamps, Night and Day, Night Edition. This is the third studio album from The Vamps, British pop boy band. They're 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 largely considered. Um, they are a D-list sort of boy band, in my opinion. They're not too well known. They're not too well established yet. Um, even though they have previously been compared to One Direction as a band, but I wouldn't compare their music, their style at all, to One Direction. This is definitely a little bit different, and the differences really come into play on this album here. Um, on the first half of the album, you have these sort of electronic beats, such as uh, Middle of the Night and All Night, two, um, two electronically produced tracks, especially Middle of the Night, which opens up the whole album. This is probably the low point of the album for me. I don't think they, the Vamps do so well with uh, these electronic sort of beats. They're... It's... The, it doesn't really work too well, in my opinion. Then you have the song All Night with these, um, the echoed vocals that you'd also sort of hear in other EDM tracks, which doesn't suit the Vamps' style either. They're, um, they're, it's not the sort of music they would make, and I really hope they don't continue this, because... It's just traditional EDM music, and I feel like they're just using it to try to appeal to uh, the kids, so that so they have they just have more music to dance to. The song really gets uh, the album really gets much better later in the record, especially with the song Paper Hearts. That was that is a great song, uh, really really beautiful, uh, definitely one of my favorites. You have the extremely catchy closer to the record with a sad song which is probably my favorite song on the record it's it's really catchy but that sort of little yelling vocals um on the chorus she you make me happy it's such a such a weird such a weird way to sort of like end your chorus it doesn't even sound that good either but definitely the song called My House, I believe it's My House, is probably my favorite. That was definitely a standout song to me. Yeah, uh, I believe that's it. If you haven't checked out this record, uh, go give it a look. I thought it was really good. Uh, well, uh, I thought the record was... it was decent. It gets a lot better in the late latter half of the album. That's when they're not overly produced and turning into sort of an electronic band. I feel like if they continue in this electronic band album, they're gonna lose a lot of their followers. So they should sort of just stick to the pop and sort of back to their old days with the like, songs like uh, Somebody To You, uh, which was their big hit. I feel like if they stuck to that sort of music, they would, they would, they could possibly be a little bit more relevant and uh, popular, but, um, they're continuing, if they continue with the style, I don't think they're going to go very far. Well, you guys, I think that's going to do it for this review. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review. Peace.